I don't think they're trying their best. 12 years ago when I was playing Kata for the first time, it wasn't that buggy. So, get your shit together. The next version of World of Warcraft you didn't ask for. How many game modes can World of Warcraft have before it starts cannibalizing itself? Retail, Classic, Hardcore, Plunderstorm, Season of Discovery and WoW Remix. So what's next and is it even a game mode you'd be excited about? With WoW getting bigger and bigger year by year and while still not near its peak back in 2010, it's sitting at well over 8 million subscribers. But how many people are playing a singular and solely that singular game mode? Back before Classic WoW came out in 2019, World of Warcraft was down to just over 4 million subscribers a pretty abysmal number now for wow this was horrendous but in the grand scheme of the industry it was still the king by a pretty fucking large margin because it doesn't matter how good you are compared to everyone else the king isn't allowed to fall so low so classic wow saved wow sub numbers and then that led to the burning crusade classic but at the same time it led to classic era classic era then led to hardcore and then the burning crusade led to wrath of the lich king classic which then led us to cataclysm classic and season of discovery both the most high and hated game mode since Plunderstorm. And people are hating Season of Discovery because they envision Classic Plus and feel disillusioned due to the Phase 3, with incursions, the PvP meta, Sunken Temple feeling boring, and the gear just not being enticing. Whatever reasons they have, people are upset, which is fair. But then that brings me to the curious question which I asked at the beginning. How many game modes can WoW have before it starts to steal players from itself? Cataclysm Classic's pre-patch released to a pretty buggy state, but it still felt funner than Season of Discovery's Phase I think this is a really interesting question because I think with the release of Kata, people stole players from Mob Remix and vice versa. Some players that are playing Mob Remix, they would have played Kata if there wasn't a Mob Remix. You know? They're not playing everything. Three too many people. So it pulled many people from Salt to Kata Classic. So what about the soon to release WoW Remix, Mr. Pandaria? How many people are going to jump ship between these many game I modes? And does that. Blizzard <laughs> even care about this? Or is this a sub is a sub and which game version you play is irrelevant? Or does jumping between these game modes give Blizzard room to breathe, thus showing a much higher MAU, otherwise known as monthly active users, and gets Microsoft and Activision's number crunching MBAs off their back? You know who else needs room to breathe? Me. So fucking subscribe. Anyways, what does all of this mean for Warcraft? What does this mean for the future game modes that are coming? Before Classic, the only game mode was WoW. Not Retail, just WoW. Then Classic happened and we got to that distinction. Retail and Classic. Then we got to TBC Classic and Classic era. Is he repeating himself? So we had to differentiate between the classics, then came classic hardcore, then sword classic which we just call season of discovery and not even classic. So what is next for classic wow and then what is next for retail wow? Cataclysm classic and wow remix will hold the line till phase 4 for sword and the war within happens for retail. But then after the war within will we get another wow remix, perhaps warlords or Draenor to replace remix Mr. Pandaria? Will we get season of insert name to replace season of discovery such as season of madness or season of insanity will we finally get the hyped up beyond measure unable to satisfy anyone because everyone has their own idea of what it is and will thus cause a shitstorm no matter how good it is mystical and mythical classic plus Will Mr. Pandaria Classic replace Cataclysm Classic? And how are the dev teams split up to handle this? Is one version of WoW being pushed to the wayside so another can be done? A controversial take, but the dev team uh, sucks anyway, so I am not sure if they should split it up or just fire it and uh, hire a new one altogether developed many in the classic community are calling for blood blaming the classic dev team for failing both the sword player base and the kata classic player base and whilst i don't believe that to be the case even if there have been some major mistakes and bugs the developers are still doing a good job or trying their best so then why does it feel like for every new i don't think they're trying their best as i said multiple times 12 years ago when i was playing kata for the first time it wasn't that buggy so get your shit together new thing we get something else is broken or abandoned despite the community eager anticipating the next batch of reveals from Blizzard, that excitement has a heavy but lingering sense of concern and worry about the stability and consistency of the classic experience, heck, the Warcraft experience. And thus here we are, debating on what's to come, because if you've seen or looked anywhere, classic is dead and depending on who you ask, either the devs, the classic player base or the retail player base killed classic. Everyone seems to think that their favorite game mode is being changed to cater to a different group of players, not realizing that most players nowadays are jumping between game modes trying a little bit of everything whether yeah. it was blizzard or microsoft's intention is it's really funny because 
I, I have uploaded videos about retail, I was uploading videos about SOD, I was uploading videos about classic and all of these three videos, for example, if we pick retail, retail players think that classic is that, classic players think that retail is that, SOD players think that everything else is that, uh, everyone thinks that SOD is that and the reality is that nothing is actually that, like ev everything is pretty much well played. It's completely irrelevant. And the introduction of all these new game modes holds a profound implication for the World of Warcraft player base and the broader gaming community itself. Each new iteration has the potential to reshape player experiences, offering us fresh challenges, fresh opportunities, and fresh narratives to explore. For veteran players, you get to revisit some beloved expansions which will revile that launch, such as Mr. Pandaria, but is now considered one of the better expansions. This leads to the potential of something like Shadowlands Classic in the distant future. And revisiting beloved expansions or hated expansions in a classic format and experiencing them through a remix lens can evoke a potent source of nostalgia while presenting opportunities for rediscovery and reevaluation for the players and the developers. Meanwhile, new players coming to the Warcraft universe, and while there doesn't seem to be that many of them, there are still plenty of new players. They might find themselves drawn in by the allure of being able to actually experience the game without dealing with the horrendous and outlandish introduction to retail WoW. No matter how Blizzard attempts to make the new player experience better it's a fucking shit show so game it's a shit show friend new players experience is uh, basically giving a reason for a new player just to leave wow and not even look at it the amount of spells that you have in the game the amount of game modes that you have in the game the game is not easy the learning cu curve is steep it's not like any other game, for example, League of Legends, you hop in, you're directly directly playing with Vagar, for example, or someone else in the tutorial, and you figure out what's going on. After that, you realize that you have 100 players, but all of them are just having four spells, you know? Retail is easy if you're just questing, but what what is easy about it? We, we have talked about this. You had friends that you have they have hopped on retail, and, they, and they're fine. But imagine some person, some teenager that uh, is playing Fortnite his whole life. He hops into WoW and he's like, why are all these bars there? Okay, I need to read these spells. Okay, why do I have 20 different spells? Should they all stay on my bar? You're gonna, okay, you're pushing through, you're figuring this out, you're leveling up. The leveling is slow if they pick up classic. If they pick up classic, the leveling is so slow that it just kills your motivation to continue. It's not normal to reach max level for three months. It's just not okay in my opinion. But anyway. Modes like Plunderstorm or WoW Remix, heck, maybe even a new game mode called WoW Tutorial that's isolated but teaches people how to play the game with an actual in-depth help system. But the- <laughs> If there is a game mode, WoW Tutorial, that would be... Maybe that's the idea. Maybe that's... Maybe that's the million dollar idea that will introduce new new players. But you know, you can never say that you're a proper player if you're playing the tutorial. These smaller game modes that are faster paced and easier to jump into are really good for the new player experience and getting people that quit years ago to come back and actually try the game out again. However, no matter how much innovation can be helpful, with innovation comes the risk of alienating the current player base and sowing discord amongst them. So Microsoft, or in this case Blizzard, has to navigate a delicate balance between honoring what their core fans want and embracing innovation, but they have to tread incredibly carefully to ensure that new game modes resonate with the very diverse player base because holy shit is it diverse classic era players retail players sod players cata players that list may keep growing as the years go on soon you won't be able to say you're a wow player you'll have to give people your wow pronouns ahem i'm a sod slash remix player anyways addressing cons what's your main wow game <laughs> Concerns about accessibility, balance, and community cohesion will be paramount as players from different backgrounds and playstyles converge within these similar but drastically different games. And the successful implementation of new game modes hinges on not only their technical execution, and they need to make sure that technical execution is done well. Bugs are common in games, but looking at Cataclysm Pre-Patch in Phase 3 of SOD does sting a little bit. On top of that though, they also have to foster a sense of belonging and excitement among players of all stripes. So ignoring the implications 
application of new game modes. The main question is whether or not players truly even desire new game modes is a complex one that encompasses a spectrum of opinions across the massive Warcraft community. The, the community doesn't mind new game mode, they just want to play a good game. I feel like it doesn't matter, really. Some players eagerly anticipate the introduction of fresh content and innovative gameplay experiences and loops, viewing all of these new game modes as an opportunity to inject life and experimentation into WoW. For these players, the prospect of exploring existing expansions in new lights or revisiting beloved expansions in a revamp form- Thunderstorm for everyone, that would be cool. Bro, don't let me start there. Don't let me even start on that topic, man. Oh, I'm gonna obliterate Blizzard on this one. Format is incredibly exciting. Conversely, there are those who approach the idea of new game modes with skepticism, indifference, or abject pure hatred. Many will remember that when Season of Discovery and Plunderstorm were announced, the community outcry was insanely negative. In fact, I remember a quote. Holy shit, the devs have lost their minds. No one gives a shit about Plunderstorm. We all ask for more retail. And then vice versa, when Season of Discovery was announced, I remember a very specific comment that said, Holy shit, Blizzard is retarded. No one asked for this. We just wanted Classic Plus. Then the game modes came out and everybody had a pretty good time and enjoyed these new game modes. The lead up to them, though, was incredibly negative. These players feel like the existing collection of game modes are being pushed to the wayside or not being supported properly because they view these new game modes being a drain on resources and developer attention. Some of these players have a more pragmatic outlook, worrying that the introduction of new game modes could dilute the player base, fragmenting communities and diminishing the sense of cohesion and shared experience that defines World of War. The truth is, Blizzard should have tons of uh, options, because Blizzard has tons of players, and that's why I think if Blizzard is simply, the simplest solution is just to have a realm for every expansion. Uh, because if you have realm for every expansion, player will be able to play classic WoW, which is slow, TBC, which is slow, Rat, which is slow, or Cataclysm, uh, Mist of Pandaria, WAD, or all the other expansions that are quick. And you can make everyone happy. Like, whoever does not enjoy any of these, I guess he's not a WoW player in general, he just not does not enjoy the game in general. So yeah. Warcraft's gameplay loop. Sadly though, attempting to balance these very divergent perspectives is literally very difficult for Blizzard. Requiring careful consideration of player feedback, filtering through that feedback and actively applying the good and ignoring the bad, whilst at the same time not losing the overarching vision for the World of Warcraft franchise. So what do players want? At its core, players want two things. Good gameplay and feeling immersed in the game. And that player satisfaction hinges- I don't agree with this guy, because he's not objectively not right. Everyone is looking for different things. That's the truth. Some people are looking for fast-paced gameplay, some for slow-paced gameplay. Does anyone look specifically for good gameplay? I don't look for good gameplay. I don't care what the gameplay is. I look for the social aspect to be encouraged as much as possible. That's it. I, I, I believe that I myself can do more of the game even if the gameplay is not like 1000 percent good oh finally the two polish guys met in my chat now everything should explode right should i be afraid just on those main things and a myriad of smaller factors such as immersive storytelling engaging gameplay and fun things to do in the open world and a sense of community and belonging while some players may yearn for the nostalgia of classic wow because of the community aspect or the thrill of exploring new expansions others prioritize gameplay and balance more than anything else such as pvp players or raiders for many people though the essence of warcraft lies not only in the content itself but in the shared experiences and memories for forged alongside fellow players. And in the grand scheme of things, the ongoing evolution of World of Warcraft as an MMO and a 20 year old MMO at that reflects much larger trends in the public and the community and dynamics within the gaming industry as a whole. What players think they want versus what they actually want are two separate things and neither the player base nor Blizzard knows what that is aside from one singular thing, a good game. What makes a game good? Or in this case, a game mode good? Did he he started this part of the video that objectively can be one separate video. 
Blizzard have to make a good game. What makes a game good can be a topic that's worthy of 20-30 minutes by itself. And he has one minute left. But it's up to debate though. The relentless pursuit of innovation and the constant push for new experiences underscore that kind of dynamic nature of what gamers want or what the gaming culture dictates, where player appetites for novelty and excitement are always changing and shifting. The success or failure of new gamers within the Warcraft universe serve as kind of a barometer for the broader health and vitality of the game as a whole. So long as Blizzard carefully, and I mean this, carefully analyzes player feedback and engagement metrics, they can see what the players want and what they're actively consuming and clamoring for. But wait, wait, wait a second, not every, not always player need, uh, want and need are the same thing. It, it, it is not always that, that the case. So you should not always look what the people want because people sometimes are confused. And this is something that is around content creators as well. That's why you see a lot of content creators just do their shit. Do their, do their fans want something different from them? Probably, but you as a human being, you evolved, you become better or you become worse and you show your take of certain things. This is your product. So at the end of the day, I just want Blizzard to do their thing. I just want them to do what they think is going to be best for this universe. I'm going to play it anyway. I'm a fan. I don't know. Listen to the fans, but don't lean into it too much. Just if you lean into it too much, commit to the end and do it properly. Like Sod and Plunderstorm and all of their projects that are how fast. Blizzard, you can glean valuable insights into the evolving wants, and those wants are very simple. We just want good games. Ultimately, that ability to innovate while staying true to what makes World of Warcraft Warcraft is incredibly important to WoW's continued success and growth. Not that the landscape for the MMOs is competitive anyways. Where the fuck are all the new MMOs? Holy shit. So let me end this video on a question though. What game mode do you want for World of Warcraft? Anyways, if you liked the video, subscribe. If you hated the video, subscribe anyways. Give me Classic Plus or I'm burning down the third world tree ebon hard out you're not gonna get pla classic plus you're gonna get a like instead and um, uh, what i can say the guy asks what game mode i want i don't care seriously whatever you give me if there was only retail i would play retail if there was only classic i wouldn't play the game that's the only case i'm not gonna play the game if there is only classic i think wow is in, in a good in a good state just remove Panda Remix, remove Sod, and that's that's gonna be good. Like, it doesn't have to have 100 game modes, but at the same time, if there are 100 game modes, I don't mind as well. So, thank you so much for doing this video, Mr. Ebonheart. And uh, let's go back to WoW, shall we?